Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Freehold Regional High School District Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome lineup of institutions for you to hear from this afternoon. But before I turn it over to them, I have a couple of quick housekeeping items for you all. Number one, this is a webinar. So your camera and your microphone are off. Our um, panelists cannot see or hear you this evening. Um, the next thing I wanted to let you know is that you should sign up for more sessions. So um, after this, there's a whole two more hours worth of sessions that you can hear from. Lots of opportunities to learn about other colleges and universities in this, in this really fun format. And um, next, um, this is being recorded and the playback will be available within one week at strivescan.com slash F-R-H-S-D. Finally, we know that you're going to have some questions and our panelists want to make sure that you leave tonight with all those questions answered. So at any time, you're welcome to put your questions in the Q&A at the bottom of your screen. Um, make sure you write, type out your question, but then also note the college or institution that you're directing your question to so that they can answer appropriately. This is a six by six program, which means all the colleges only have six minutes to share great information with you. We hope it's just enough that you'll wanna do some more research after this. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our first school. You're gonna have the opportunity first to hear from Newman University. Take it away whenever you're ready. All right, uh, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for having me. I'm, my name is Andrew, one of the counselors at Newman University. Uh, so a couple of things about Newman. Um, we are a small private Catholic school located in Acid, Pennsylvania. That is suburban Delaware County, about 25 minutes from Philadelphia. Uh, a couple accolades that we have are we are ranked among best regional universities in the North, as well as ranked number eight in Pennsylvania for social mobility, which means that we really recognize success at graduating economically disadvantaged students. So a couple other accolades that I wanna point out is we were given a college of distinction for the year 2020-2021 as a Catholic school college in Pennsylvania for our business programs, education programs, nursing, as well as career and development. We really do strive for excellence here at Newman. Couple numbers, uh, we are 2,400 undergrads. So we are on the smaller side, but you really do get that unique and personal experience here at Newman. 48 academic programs, 22 is the average class size, 14 to one student to faculty ratio, four residence halls, 24 division three sports. Uh, you know, all of our uh, majors, no matter if you're undecided, nursing, education, you have to complete some form of internship field experience or clinical rotation. And 99% of our students receive some form of aid. So the biggest thing to take away is that small size, but you really do get that one-on-one -on -one attention. These are all our academic programs. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just a couple that are more popular would be biology, nursing, education, sports management, anything in our business. We have a couple of pre-professional programs as well, which I'll talk about. Uh, communications is big, criminal justice, and we really um, are known for our nursing and education, um, but we are liberal arts school, so there's something for everybody. So academic resources here, these are all free for all of our students. Um, it's all located in our hub, which is um, our academic resources on campus. That's tutoring, writing services, disability services, academic coaching, and career and personal development. Athletics, like I said, we are a division three. Uh, so we have at the varsity level, club teams, as well as intramurals. You can be as involved or as not involved as you would like. Um, and the coaches really do understand that you are a student athlete and your academics come first, whether you need to you know, leave practice early or come late, they really don't understand you really can balance both, which is awesome. So we are still accepting applications. We are rolling admission. We are on the Common App as well as our own application. All we need to see is that official high school transcript. As long as you have a 2.5 GPA, I don't need to see those test scores. If you're looking for pre-pharmacy or pre-engineering, we have those programs as well, uh, but we will need to see those test scores just because we have accreditations with different schools that you would go to after us. So we will need to see those. Um, so that is all about that. Uh, so merit scholarships, this is based on your GPA or your GPA and your test scores. 
Uh, so we go anywhere from 10 to 19,000 this year. And this is based on your GPA. And we have a no harm policy here, which means that I'm gonna give you the scholarship that's gonna be higher with or without those scores. So these are all of our breakdowns. A Couple of different grants that we have as well. So a Catholic high school, if you come from a Catholic high school, nursing award, for nursing students, residential grant, if you kind of live on campus, legacy award, if you mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa went to Newman, as well as first generation student. If you were the first person in your family to go for a bachelor's degree, you would get this. They all stack on top of your merit scholarship and is renewable for every four, all, every year as well. So that was a lot of information in a really short amount of time, uh, but I will throw it back over. You can put any um, questions that you have in the chat. Andrew, thanks so much to you and Newman University. Um, great presentation. I'm now going to turn it over to Kaylee at um, LaSalle University. Thank you, Courtney. Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Kaylee Unger, Assistant Director of Admission at LaSalle University. So I am coming to you today from Philadelphia. We're in the Northwest area. We do have public transportation, which is great access for students to get into Center City as well as South Philly. Uh, we are a small private university, about 3,200 students um, located on a 133 acre campus. And we are a Catholic university. So we do have Christian brothers living on campus who are active um, around the campus in administration as well as some faculty um, in some of our departments. So like I said before, uh, we do have 32 undergraduate students, which makes about a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. The average class size is about 22. And we do have 42 undergraduate programs for our students to choose from. The next few slides will be all of our programs listed. We are a division one school. We have 18 different athletics that students are able to choose from. We also have 120 uh, clubs and organizations that students are be able to join and be a part of. And 100% of our classes are taught by faculty. That means that no graduate assistants will be teaching our courses. So like I said, we have 42 undergraduate programs, something for everyone. So we have our School of Arts and Sciences, which is gonna be our largest school. Uh, we do have different four and five year programs in each of the schools. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Next, we also have our School of Business. Again, we have a four year program. So essentially a student is going to be earning their bachelor's and master's degree in that time period. And we have an awesome co-op program for our students as well. And then the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. So we have Communication Sciences and Disorders. Uh, so that's gonna be a kind of a speech pathology program. And then we have nursing. Both of those programs are very competitive. You do require a 3.0 and C or higher in all of your math and sciences and a 1050 or higher if you choose to submit your test scores. Uh, we also have a nutrition program as well as public health. Again, if you have any questions relating to these courses, please let me know in the Q&A uh, box. And then Philadelphia, it's going to be our largest classroom. So there are plenty of students that attend LaSalle uh, that have not been able to explore the city for themselves. They're from further away or they really just have not had the chance. Uh, so it's brimming with uh, historical landmarks with different nonprofit organizations. Whether you're a Philly sports fan or not, um, students tend to go down to the city for games or really just explore um, just the culture and again, like the historic landmarks of uh, Philly itself. And then the freshman application, what we're looking for is a complete application. So whether it's through our LaSalle application, through the common application or the coalition application, we are free to apply. Also attached to your application, we require an application essay or personal statement. So really anything you want your counselor to know about you. And then an official high school transcript as well as two letters of recommendation. So from a guidance counselor, coach, a teacher, really who can speak to your strengths and abilities. And like I said before, we are fully test optional and it won't hurt you to not submit your test scores if you choose to go that route. We do review students more holistically. So really based off of um, the makeup of what you're involved in in high school, the strength of your high school and really get to know us. Um, I know we're kind of short on time, but I do want to touch on just a few of our scholarships. So we do have a merit-based scholarship, which is automatically awarded um, based on your acceptance. So it'll be uh, from your GPA and or your test scores if you choose to submit them. So that'll be between $5,000 and $18,000. We also have a separate application where you can apply for our Christian Brothers Scholarship. And it is a full tuition scholarship for all four years. And we do have a transfer scholarship as well, the Phi Theta uh, Scholarship. 
also a community service scholarship, an athletic scholarship for our D1 athletes. And if you've had anyone in your family who has attended LaSalle in the past, um, you will receive an automatic $1,000 a year um, for that. So we do have uh, campus visits going on right now, Monday through Friday, as well as some Saturday. So I really encourage you to attend. It's lasalle.edu slash visit. And then you can also visit our website for more information. I'll put all of my information in the chat for you. Um, and if you do have any questions, please feel free to use the Q&A. And thank you so much. Thank you so much to you and LaSalle University. Next up, I have the opportunity to introduce to you Drexel University. Take it away, Donna, whenever you're ready. Thanks so much, Courtney. I appreciate that. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for spending some time with us tonight. My name is Donna Mayer. I'm a Senior Assistant Director of Admissions at Drexel University. So I'd like to share with you some highlights and information that Drexel about Drexel's unique program. So let me bring the screen full for you. So as you can see, you, we are the Dragons, the Drexel Dragons. Uh, Drexel is a unique institution located in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, we are that type of school that is, I think, very essential and valuable for any student that really wants to explore different areas of study, uh, that really wants to explore career paths, and really give those opportunities uh, a chance to see if it's right for them. We are a research-based institution. We are located in University City, which is a great location. There are many retailers and shops and stores available for students to take part in. Uh, for current students, actually for admitted students, sorry, uh, we are offering admitted student tours that you'd be able to take advantage of. Uh, for prospective students, we have a, a multitude of virtual opportunities, uh, campus tours, information sessions, general information sessions, as well as college specific information sessions. So you can find those on our website. Drexel, I would say, is a medium sized institution with about 14,500 students. We offer very small classroom sizes, though, even though, you know, the number of uh, overall students we have here. Student to faculty ratio is about 11 to 1, with the median class size about 19. We offer 80 undergraduate majors at Drexel. So we have a broad uh, band of curriculum choices for you. You are able to apply to a first choice, second choice, first choice and second choice majors on the Common or Coalition applications, letting us review you fully. We are that type of school for students interested in inter interdisciplinary studies. So if you want to be, say, a biology, sorry, a biomedical engineering major with a minor in psychology, you're able to do that at Drexel. If you want to have performing arts as either a minor or a club or a program you want to be a part of, you can do that at Drexel as well. Drexel is that strong school for um, students that are, uh, I would say, if you have so many different types of interests, you can pursue them through the classroom time, or you can pursue them through clubs, organizations, study abroad opportunities, which are available for all students. Performing arts, again, all students can take advantage of those programs. Our research opportunities also start day one, again, available for all majors. So at Drexel, your major doesn't define who you are here and what you can do. You'll do that. You'll do that through the things that you become uh, involved in in the communities that you join. Our curriculum is a little unique too. We are on a quarter system, not semester based. So each quarter is 10 weeks long. So we move at a pretty quick pace. All classes are taught by faculty as well. And what we do at Drexel is combine real world experiences with the academics. So you'll spend six months in the classroom and then six months working professionally in an industry that you're interested in. Our cooperative education program is the highest level of experiential learning that we offer although experiential learning is woven throughout all of our opportunities at Drexel University. So you really can work professionally in almost anywhere in the world. We, over have, over, we have over 1,500 employers that our students can uh, apply for jobs with. And just so you understand the, the value of the Drexel Co-op, 98% of our students participate in these programs, in the co-op program. 85% of the positions are full-time, so they're paid. And the average salary is about $18,000 for each co-op that you would do. So for six months of work, you, you'd be making a significant salary. And each co-op is six months long. So again, that chance for students to alternate being in the classroom, learning that, you know, the theory, basic education information, and then taking it in a real world setting, earning a living for themselves and seeing what that industry is like, building up your resume and making some potential great contacts for future job searches and career choices. So at Drexel, you can choose to be a four-year student or a five-year student. For most students, some programs are only four years long and they will do one six-month co-op. The vast majority of students though get to choose to be five-year students so that they can do three co-ops. So you can explore a career from different perspectives, different areas, or realize after your first co-op, that's not really what I wanna do. I need to move on and do study another major. That's not really where I was happy. So co-op really gives you the chance to take a career for a test drive while you're still a student. 
Our campus is very vibrant. Uh, we offer th over 350 student organizations. We have tremendous food trucks on campus. Philly's a great town for anybody that's a foodie. If you want to live in a learn living learning community for the housing opportunities, you can do that. Our honors program, again, is available for most students to apply for and be reviewed for. If you're an athlete, we offer all levels of athletics at Drexel. So division one, we have nine men's and nine, nine women's teams. We have very competitive club sports at Drexel as well. And we also offer students to just take part in intramurals. And our athletic center, if you just wanna go catch a class or just get on a treadmill for a little bit, our athletic center is available for you as well. You just need to have your ID to, to go into that facility, into that building. Now, applying to Drexel is a pretty straightforward process. We are a, we do review all students holistically, so everything in the application will matter to us. We do take the common or coalition applications, and for the next two years, so if there are any uh, younger students here, we will not be requiring standardized testing. So you can apply test optional for the next two years at Drexel. If you're applying to any of our accelerated programs where you can get your bachelor's or master's, uh, bachelor's in MBA, or our BA, BS, um, MD program for our medical school, early assurance medical program, you might be required to submit additional application materials. We'll let you know about that though. Um, and then if you're looking to apply to our custom design major, which is our most unique major, that's where you would literally choose every class you take. You're able to do that as well, all through those applications. But if you have any questions, I'm the admissions counselor for your high school. I'll put my information in the, um, in the Q and A um, and feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm going to just share my contact information very briefly, and then I'll stop sharing my screen so that our next college can begin their presentation. Thanks again for your time. Thanks, Donna, to you and Drexel University. Um, audience, don't forget, you can put those questions in the Q&A at any time, just type them out, and also note the college or institution that you're directing your question to. Wow, we have already heard from three great schools and we still have three great ones to go. Um, next up, I'd like to introduce to you Walnut Hill College. Um, Jessica, take it away whenever you're ready. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Jessica Doherty and I'm a high school recruitment uh, representative from Walnut Hill College. Uh, we are a, as I share my screen, um, we are a uh, hospitality school located in the University City section of Philadelphia. Uh, we're actually only about five to six blocks away from um, Drexel University. Uh, we are one of the first programs to offer specifically geared towards the hospitality industry starting out in 1974 as the restaurant school. We offer three distinct uh, associates programs, culinary arts, pastry arts, and our hospitality management. Our associates programs are 18 months long because we do not do a traditional semester uh, set up, we do a 10 week trimesters. So every 10 weeks you get a new class schedule for us. If you decide to stay on for your bachelor's program, we that is a 36 month program. And we offer six uh, distinct bachelor's programs in culinary arts, pastry arts, restaurant management, hotel management. And we just introduced two brand new ones, which is our food and beverage management and event and leisure management. We are fully accredited and we are also ranked in the top 10 um, from niche.com of best culinary schools in uh, the country. Uh, we're located at 42nd and Walnut, like I said, in the University City section. We are a small independent college. We only have about 500 to 550 students enrolled with us at a time. Uh, so your class sizes are going to be on the smaller side. Uh, Pre-COVID numbers, hands-on learning kitchen classes ranged at about 15 to 20 students and then lectures were between 25 to 35 students. So you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention uh, with our chef instructors and our professors. Like I said, we are a uh, hospitality school. And just to give you a brief overview of the industry we represent, the hospitality industry is the third largest in the country. Um, so there's tons and tons of opportunities out there for our students and also being located in Philadelphia, uh, especially come your bachelor's program, it gives you a lot of those opportunities to work within the industry. Uh, because Philadelphia being one of the largest cities in the country is pretty awesome as well. Some really cool things that we get to do that's a part of our program that really does separate us from a lot of other ones out there is that we do include travel in our tuition. Depending on your major, depend on your associate's program, depends on what trip you get, uh, bachelor's degree students are going to be getting an additional trip on top of that. So culinary arts and pastry arts students are going to be getting a trip to France for a week. Uh, this comes in your final trimester of your associates program. So nine weeks are spent in the United States, working on your project, planning out your free day, and then a week is spent on the trip. While in France, culinary arts and pastry arts students are gonna be studying mainly in the Burgundy and Champagne regions. 
Uh, obviously, we're going to go to Champagne Houses and wineries. We do go to farms. We go to different, um, where they make different um, delicacies and things like that. Uh, and then we also have amazing meals almost every single night. You do get a free day on the France trip, and that's to do whatever you like in Paris. If you decide to go more the hospitality management route or business management is um, hospitality business is another way to look at that major. It's going to be the Florida and the Bahamas and we get a behind the scenes tour of Disney with the low ground in the inner workings of the uh, Magic Kingdom and Epcot to be exact. Uh, there's other things in the Florida leg of the trip, uh, but that's leading up to your three-day cruise to the Bahamas. And just like Disney, you're going to be going into the inner workings of that cruise ship. And then your free uh, time on this trip is to kick back and enjoy the sun and sand of the Bahamas. And the really cool part about that trip is that goes in January. So you can laugh at all your friends and family as they're uh, freezing their butts off up here in the Northeast. Finally, like I said, if you decide to stay on for your bachelor's program, you are going to be getting an additional trip, and that is to England. All six of our bachelor's majors get to go to um, England for a week, and our most exclusive tours come on this. Oh, my God. One of them, a behind-the-scenes tour of Buckingham Palace. We are the only school uh, in the United States that gets that tour. It's behind the scenes. Um, I can't give specifications of what we see uh, because there is a catch to that, and that is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth cannot be in residence for us to get the tour. We also get something that's really amazing, too. We get a behind-the-scenes tour of Gordon Ramsay's three, three Michelin star-rated restaurant in London. Uh, campus life, we have over 30 different clubs and organizations from our for our students to join everything from Healthy Bacon and Eating Club to uh, Disney Club to even Rick and Morty Club. Uh, so there's always something going on. We do offer dormitories to students. We have a grand total of seven buildings that contain dorms if that is something that you're interested in. Um, and also, if you're a part of the class of 2022, we do do a summer program uh, that you can participate in, which is three days, two nights, running July 14th through the 16th and July 21st through the 23rd. Uh, it gives you a good way to test out to see if this is something you want to be a part of. Uh, also coming up, we have a fun fact, we have a freehold student that just entered today, which is our chocolate competition next Saturday. And then the following Saturday, May 1st, is going to be our culinary competition. Uh, first place in each competition is $6,000. Second place is $3,000. And third place is $1,800. So obviously, this is towards our tuition. Our enrollment process is extremely straightforward. It is your admissions application, two letters of reference. Those are coming from your teachers, your counselors, your employers, people like that. We do not accept family. We do not accept friends. Your high school diploma, aka your transcripts. Then we're going to need a 250 word goal statement essay. SATs or ACTs, if you have taken them, we do not require them. You can opt to take our um, entrance test your admissions interview, and then finally registration and application fees $200. If for some reason you cannot enroll with us, we will refund you your $200. Finally, one last thing that is included in your tuition I do want to point out is all textbooks are included in tuition here at Walnut Hill College. So that is an additional cost you do not have to worry about as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jessica, to you and Walnut Hill College. Our next presentation tonight will be um, from Muhlenberg College. Eric, take it away whenever you're ready. Good day, everyone. I hope that you are enjoying the information that you are learning today. I'm just gonna share my screen here. Great, fantastic. Uh, my name is Eric Thompson. I am the Associate Director of Admissions here at Muhlenberg College. And a uh, fun fact is that I am both a graduate of Muhlenberg class of two, uh, 2010, and I am also a Howell High School graduate, and I spent two years at Real Township. So students, I've been in your shoes before. Uh, I'm the Central Jersey representative and happy to share some information today about Muhlenberg College. Here is a bird's eye view of the campus. And this is probably about 50% of the campus or so, but we are a small liberal arts college in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And so from the Monmouth County area of Freehold Regional High School District, probably somewhere between an hour and a half uh, to two hours based on 
where you're from, but we're an hour north of Philadelphia and two hours west of New York City. So um, we think we have a, a pretty fantastic location. And um, as you see the campus in front of you, uh, most of our students live on campus, about 90% of our students live on campus. So it's not a commuter school or suitcase school by any means. Most of our students are in and around the campus. And because everything is pretty much within walking distance, you're gonna see people that you recognize every day. And so um, that have a tendency to just give you an added boost of energy when you're um, being able to be in touch with your peers, professors, um, staff members. Uh, and so our sense of community is really, really important at Muhlenberg. I know you hear that from a lot of colleges, but it's something that we work really hard to cultivate. And at the end of the day, we think we really deliver on that traditional residential college experience. Our students are very empowered um, to make the most out of their time. Uh, on the Muhlenberg campus. In terms of Allentown, there's a lot to do around um, the campus. As you can see, we're kind of a suburban part of Allentown. There's also a downtown part of Allentown. So um, they have some great restaurants down there. There's a minor league hockey stadium, a minor league baseball stadium not too far away. If you've heard or been to Dorney Park, um, Dorney is just five or seven minutes from campus as well. And so um, in addition to that, there's just regular shopping, whether it's, you know, Panera, Target, Walmart, Fridays, Friendlies, all of that is to say that we're not in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. We're also in the larger Lehigh Valley. So there's some um, other colleges nearby that we share resources with or students have a chance to visit as well. Here's some other facts and figures that are um, uh, often important to students as they're going through their college process. We have over 1900 undergraduate students and we have mostly undergraduate students this year. We just started master's programs. And so that's exciting. There's actually one senior right now that I know has signed on to continue studying at Muhlenberg. Um, so that's fun. But most of our students are undergraduate and all of our classes are taught by professors. There's no TAs on campus. The average class size is 19. The student professor ratio is 10 to one. So if you're the type of student who would prefer a smaller classroom environment and accessibility of professors, I would highly recommend that you keep Muhlenberg on your radar. There's many, many things to do. Our students tend to be ambitious and overcommitted and gravitate towards leadership opportunities. Over 130 different clubs and organizations, everything from Greek life to athletics. We have 22 varsity sports and we're a division three team, performing arts opportunities, community service, um, research opportunities, religious life organizations, and anything that you can think of, um, we have it here at Muhlenberg or students decide that they wanna start their own club. Um, we're ranked 17th in the country for best food, which is an important statistic. And we're actually ranked number one in Pennsylvania. So food is something that we take very seriously at Muhlenberg. Another statistic I like to highlight here is our graduation rate. Our four-year graduation rate uninterrupted is about 81%. And so that lets you know that we're not only dedicated to getting students in and accepting them, but making uh, sure that they can thrive all their way through um, the graduation. In terms of, um, uh, here's some additional visuals of campus. Um, the thing to know about Muhlenberg is we're the school of the red doors. And so um, we were founded as a Lutheran college and in that religion, red is a symbol of welcome. And so if you're in and around the community and you see a red door, chances are um, that it's a Muhlenberg owned building, but our students are able to practice any faiths um, that their hearts desire. And you're not uh, expected to be a Lutheran student if you're at Muhlenberg. With regards to academics, it's something that's um, very important to us. Um, we are classified as a liberal arts college, which means there's a lot of academic flexibility, but we're also classified as a teaching institution. So our professors are fiercely devoted to educating students. Not only are they educators, but they're mentors and um, guide students along the way as they are engaged in different research opportunities and um, community service and are glad to support students all across um, their time on campus. It's one of my favorite things about the, the campus is um, the engagement that faculty have and, and how um, interested they are, not only in how students are doing in the classroom, but what things they're interested in now and headed towards the future as well. In terms of academic programs, we have 38 majors and 35 minors. Um, nearly two thirds of the student body are doing you know, more than one academic area. So for example, I did theater and business on our campus. 
most colleges, you can't put that combination together, but I was able to practice a passion that I'll always be passionate about performing arts, but also get something a little bit more practical um, with regards to a business degree. Um, we have students who are studying in areas of biology, um, a pre-med, our acceptance rate to medical school is about 85%. Neuroscience, we have an emerging public health major, um, theater and dance, lots of performing arts uh, at Muhlenberg. Undecided, we have lots of students who come in undecided and that's totally okay. You don't have to declare a major into your second semester sophomore year, business, finance, um, accounting, media and communications, psychology is very popular, political science, we have a pre-law program in English. And so those are just a little taste of some of the things that our students are doing. But as I said, you can kind of craft your own pathway uh, academically um, on our campus. And then most, uh, more than half of our juniors um, take advantage of study abroad. So nearly 60% of our students have some type of study abroad experience. Um, and when it's safe to do so right now, not too many students are doing that, but I do know a student who is studying abroad in Prague at the moment. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about um, uh, career planning because that's an oftentimes uh, a very important part of the uh, college search process and our office is really dedicated to making sure students have those resources. So they start a networking class as early as freshman year, but they're happy to chat with students about internship opportunities. About 72% of our students have um, access to uh, internships before they graduate. And um, sorry, Eric, this that six minutes goes way, way, way too fast. Doesn't sure, it? <laughs> sure, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and so, uh, if you'd like more information about Muhlenberg, would be happy to put my contact information. Encourage you all to come and visit the campus. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eric. Thanks so much to you and Muhlenberg College. Our final presentation tonight will be from Holy Family University. Take it away whenever you're ready. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Mark Ferretti from Holy Family University, and tonight I'll be sharing with you some information about Holy Family University. Holy Family University is located in Northeast Philadelphia, about 20 minutes out, 20 minutes north outside of Center City. Uh, we are a smaller private school, about 2,000 undergraduate students, about 1,000 graduate. The student faculty ratio is about 12 to 1. The average classroom size is 16. Uh, the largest is about 30. We have 30 academic majors, 20 academic minors, one-to-one -one faculty uh, to student advising. Some majors include nursing, education, business, criminal justice, psychology. We have a four plus one with our business majors. We have a four plus two with our psych majors as well. Some real world experience with Holy Family University. We also have one-on-one -on -one career planning. We have internships with just about all of our majors. We have six week workshop series. We have student teaching for all of our education majors and clinical placement throughout the city of Philadelphia and throughout New Jersey for our nursing majors as well. Some student experience for Holy Family University, the residence life, um, just some residence life 101. We do have on-campus living options. We are about 15% on-campus living. The rest is commuter. We are mainly a commuters based campus. Uh, we have three dorm styles. We have St. Joe's which is our freshman dorm, Stevenson Lane, which is typically sophomores and juniors. And then we have the garden style apartments, which is dedicated for our seniors and some juniors. We do have campus security on campus 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We do have health services that are available to all students that are on campus as well. A little bit more about Holy Family, our athletics. We are division two athletics. We are have 14 varsity sports and four club sports. Holy Family University is also home to Tiger Field where our women's lacrosse plays, men's and women's soccer plays. And starting next year, we will have a track right on campus that our track and field teams will compete on. We also have a fitness center on campus that is accessible to students. The only time it is closed is from 12 p.m. to 4 a.m. Any other time, students are more than welcome to use that facility. And we also have our gymnasium, which is home to our men's and women's basketball team and our nationally ranked women's volleyball team as well. The admissions criteria for Holy Family University. We are a common app school, but we also have our own application via our website. We are rolling admissions and still taking applications for the fall of 2021. After you apply, you would be required to send your high school transcripts. And we are SAT or ACT optional for this year and next year. The average GPA we receive is a 3.1. The average SAT is a 1020. 
The minimum GPA for our nursing program is a 3.0. The minimum SAT was a 1030, but like I said, we are test optional this year and next year. Financial aid and tuition. So 97% of our students receive some type of aid, whether it be in the form of merit scholarship or FAFSA. Tuition is about $31,640, an additional $13,000 for room and board. Of course, you would want to file your FAFSA by October 1st if you're a junior. If you're a senior looking to still apply, you want to file, you want to apply and file your FAFSA ASAP. We're also voted a low net cost institution. Like I mentioned before, we have merit-based scholarships. They are based off your GPA and your SAT if you wish to submit them. Our freshman range scholarships range anywhere from $12,000 to $21,000. And our transfer scholarships range from $8,500 to $14,000. We take every student on a GPA on a case-by-case -case basis. Due to Corona, we don't have a typical GPA minimum requirement. We do accept name scholarships and additional outside scholarships as well. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email me, mperetti at holyfamily.edu. I'll be happy to drop my contact information in the box. We are accepting on-campus tours. We run them three times a day, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 2 p.m., and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Mark, thank you so much to you and Holy um, Family University. Now I'd like to ask all of our presenters to turn back on their cameras and share really quickly um, some extra information about your institution. So what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? Or if you'd rather um, give an interesting or fun fact. So we'll go, we'll go round robin in the same order that you presented. So Newman University up first. So my favorite tradition is definitely our best day ever. It is the last um, day of classes. So they kind of get to just really celebrate all they've accomplished. Um, there's food trucks, activities, um, so many giveaways, free t-shirts, breakfast. It's just the whole day of celebrating, which is awesome. And that's probably my favorite tradition. At LaSalle, we have International Recognition Week. So the entire week is going to be one day is dedicated to a different ethnic background. So we'll host different music, food, as well as traditions uh, for each of those backgrounds for that entire week. At Drexel University, we offer all first year students the chance to join us for Welcome Week, which is a week long uh, scheduled events of programs, the chance for the students to move in, the chance for them to meet with the other uh, first year students. It's only first year students on that campus for the whole entire week. They rule the school. And one of the big highlights of that is the um, fabulous first year student thumb war, thumb war competition. So you could be the champion of thumb war as a first year student. I'm gonna to have to go with our annual wine stomp. Uh, obviously we haven't been able to do it this year due to COVID, but uh, we bring in giant barrels and we, in our courtyard, we actually put down giant trash bags and all the students come in and we uh, do a giant wine stomp to the point where we actually bottle our wine and during it, we will uh, serve it uh, as long as you're 21 or over. <laughs> that's the catch to it. So we get to make our own wine. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs> Continuing on the food trend at Muhlenberg, we have something called Midnight Breakfast um, that happens at the end of uh, the end of the, the year, so uh, end of the spring semester, and uh, breakfast is served at late night hours, um, and it's not just typical dining services, but you might see Eric at admissions um, serving bacon um, at that time, or the president or faculty members and staff, and so it's just a good time to release some stress going into finals week, Midnight Breakfast. Bre breakfast. And my favorite tradition on Holy Valley University's campus is at the end of the fall semester, we have what's called Christmas Rose. And what Christmas Rose is, is kind of a formal dinner um, to basically celebrate the end of the first semester. And it's kind of a big party. I always love hearing these awesome traditions. And I bet I could speak for all of you in saying um, two other of your favorite things on campus are move-in day and graduation. Um, I hope that you all take a great look at these professionals on the screen and know that they are here to help you throughout this college search process. So never hesitate to reach out to them directly. Um, they really do want to hear from you and answer all of your questions. 
with that, I would like to say thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, as you close out, there'll be a quick four question survey. So I hope that you'll provide us with some feedback. There's still two more hours of this really fun format to learn about more colleges and institutions. So we hope that you'll sign up for more sessions. This session was being recorded and all the recordings will be available at strivescan.com slash FRHSD. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much again for joining and best wishes with your college search. Bye everyone.